Hey, welcome back Intermediate Algebra students. We are starting to get a little bit more complex in what we're doing. Videos are probably, you're probably noticing starting to get a little longer. Um, this probably will be no different. This con is called quadratic word problems in vertex form. So they are asking you to retrieve different information from different problems. And there's four different problems. There's one, there's one there, there's one there, and a fourth one down here. In fact, I'm just gonna make that a little higher so I can get to it. All right, now. What types of information are they looking for? So in this one, you're going to notice that they're looking for a lower limit and a higher limit. When they're looking for those limits of a lower and a higher limit, what they're truly looking for in those cases are your x-intercepts. So if you see the thing where they want two answers, you're going to be looking to solve for the x-intercepts on there. Okay, we're going to go through the different ones first. If they give you this one where it says, Here's this price here. It says the company's annual profit in millions of dollars is a function of the price per uh, price per pair of socks. Okay, which means when they say what's the sock price when the company should earn a maximum profit, and I wrote, miswrote this. I wrote stock price. It should have been sock price. Sorry, I misread that a little bit. The vertex is actually your sock price and your profit, where the stock price is your X coordinate and the profit is your Y coordinate, okay? And you'll notice they wanna know what is the stock price. So in this case, they wanna know what is your X coordinate for this one. We'll get to that in a moment. This one here says the number of mosquitoes in Minneapolis is a function of how much rainfall we get. Again, this is a vertex question where the amount of rainfall affects the number of mosquitoes we have, where rainfall is your x-coordinate and mosquitoes is your y-coordinate. So they are in this one are looking for the y-coordinate of the vertex. So sometimes they'll ask for the x-coordinate of the vertex, sometimes they want the y-coordinate of the vertex. And then finally there's this one down here, when it's talking about a ball being thrown by somebody, it looks like a mirror threw it, and what was the ball, what was the height of the ball at the time it was thrown? So a mirror is so tall, when he throws the ball, um, you know, what was the height of the ball? Basically what they're looking for here is they're looking for the starting point. And you should know that the starting point of anything is called your y-intercept. And you know what your y-intercept, x always equals zero. Okay, so you gotta know there's four different questions they're asking in this Khan Academy. What's the y-intercept? What's the y value of the vertex? What's the x value of the vertex? Or what are the two x intercepts? So y intercept, x intercepts, or the x vertex point, or the y vertex coordinate. So let's go through them here. So when we are looking for the x intercepts, we know that on the x intercepts, your y value equals zero. So we're gonna take that equation they gave us, and we're gonna set it equal to zero, just like we did here. And like, we've been already solving these, so you should know how to solve. We're gonna subtract 180 from both sides. We're gonna divide by 20 on both sides. We're gonna take the square root of both sides, and remember that equals plus or minus the square root of nine, so plus or minus three. And then we add three to both sides, and we get our two x intercepts. That should be pretty simple. So what are our, what's our lower limit? Our lower limit on this one is zero, and our upper limit on this one is six. And let me put those in the right spot there. Okay, so when you get your x-intercepts, that's where it goes. So hopefully this part is not the hard part for you, okay? What about the next one, when they're asking for the vertex, and in this case, they want the x-coordinate? Well, remember, your vertex, this is in vertex form. It makes this easy. Your vertex is the opposite of this and this one. So your x-value is the opposite of this. Your y-value is just that. So your x-value is 5 and your y value is 12. Since they want the sock price, and we realize that that sock price is five, our answer is five. Super easy when it's in this form, okay? What about when they want the y value? Well, here's your vertex. You know it's the opposite of this for your x value, and that's your y value. So our vertex here is opposite of negative five, which is five, and our 25. Since they want to know how many millions of mosquitoes on our vertex, it would be 25 million. It's that easy. So you can notice when they put it in vertex form, you just find that vertex form, which is very easy from these, and you give them the x or the y coordinate, whichever one they're looking for. Then finally, if they want this one where they want the 
y-intercept, the initial spot. What was the height of the ball when it was first thrown? Okay. Well, we plug in 0 for x. So we're going to take this equation right here. We're going to plug in 0 for x right here, and we simply solve. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, so that's where the 4 came from. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 16 is 12. So our height in meters was 12 meters when that ball was originally thrown. That's how you do this con. Hopefully it makes sense. We will see you at Google Hangouts. Bye-bye.